think Aston. I, I think Aston might be a good answer too. Yes. <laughs> yep, Aston is the one. Um, how do you Andy, you, it's too easy if you make like this. Ah. You did to say no. No, no, but I don't have him on the camera. More. 192. Ah. I must have been sleeping for a few races. I don't know. Fabio gets five points for that. Um, crew gets zero. Right, is it Newlands? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Toolbox is coming in handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never seen him do that before. <laughs> Look at the mothballs. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the final edition of the Petronas Sepang Racing Team Online Quiz Breakout. We're all very excited as racing starts next week, so we have a special management head-to-head -head contest today before our riders go head-to-head -head on track in Jerez next week. So, let's meet the contestants. Contestant number one is the team principal of Petronas Sepang Racing Team. Razlan, it's good to see you again. It's been a long wait, but uh, racing is finally on the horizon. What's the outlook? Well, I think, uh, to be honest, I'm quite nervous. Uh, uh, you know, to be flying to Europe for the first time in, what, three, four months since last year. So, um I'm nervous. Um, uh, we are actively preparing for uh, our first race. I think the most important is the safety and, and uh, health of everybody uh, to get ready before they fly off. Um, excited and nervous all at the same time. But uh, yeah, we are just looking forward to next week. Um, we have a 13 race calendar ahead, but there's potential for more races too. You're joining us from Malaysia. What, what's the latest from that part of the world? We're still working on it. We're still lobbying it. Uh, we had a meeting with Ministry of Tourism today. Uh, uh, they want it to happen. Um, let's begin with the national championship, which is which starts end of this month. Um, and then we play um, by ear on how situation arises. But we're really hoping to push for Malaysia Grand Prix. Good. Thank you, Razlan. Uh, now let's meet the next contestant. Contestant number two is the team director of Petrona Sepang Racing Team. Johan, great to see you here. What's been keeping you occupied over the last few weeks? I guess it's all suddenly got rather busy. Yeah, I mean, like everybody, this been uh, it's like a new normal to to have this uh, video conference calls, and every week we've been busy planning and preparing for for the first race. Finally, it's here. Finally, we go. We go into Jerez, which is great, you know. And um, yeah, I mean, it's been busy with uh, like me and Vilko. We've been working a lot on the logistics side and planning and the operations from the team, you know, to get everybody there. And 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 also, you know, trailers and and this test coming up now. This week is very hectic for us. Everybody have to go do the test and and upload, and uh, you know, so we are clear. Uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been very busy, and uh, actually, this five months been uh, passing through very fast. When we get to Harath, what what's the outlook? Two races there, of course, um, in Motor Two and Motor Three, Petrona Sprinter Racing. What's the outlook for those guys? I mean, uh, we had a race already in Qatar, as everybody know, in Moto2 and Moto3, and there was a, a, was a very positive weekend for us there, uh, with John in, in, in the highlights, you know, finishing second and very close to win that race. He was very strong from the pre-season testing until that race, so he showed that uh, he had a great speed, which is uh, super nice for us to see. Uh, Xavi was fast, you know, he, he was fast all the week in Qatar, and, and same with Jake, he was progressing all the weekend and coming strong. Uh, Kip still have to learn, you know, he's coming, uh, he needs some more races to be to be there, but for sure we can see the potential and he's starting to like the Moto3 bike, so we are looking forward for Jerez. Uh, obviously we were there testing in, in February, two times, so we have a lot of data, a lot of knowledge from the track and, and we were fast in that test as well. Well, we're looking forward, it, forward to it. Thank you, Johan. Now, let's meet the final contestant. 
Contestant number three is team manager of Petronas Yamaha Sipang Racing Team. Wilco, it's great to see you here again. What's the news from the MotoGP team? What's happening? Yeah, basically, as Johan said, we have been busy, uh, yeah, not only by logistic, but also uh, preparing uh, 2020 has been a kind of pain, you know, with all, I think we have more uh, uh, mouth masks with us uh, than uh, the rest of Europe has. So uh, we have a lot of stuff and a lot of new things as well. But uh, even saying that, uh, even 2021 is also on the line, uh, th walking through, you know, so uh, it's a quite a tense uh, moment uh, for all of us. And uh, but strange enough, we have not been racing, and uh, yeah, we have seen uh, F1, our title sponsor, is uh, starting off very well in uh, in Austria, and uh, of course we are looking uh, forward to Jerez, basically to also start off uh, uh, on a high. You know, what what do you think is possible from the team when we get on track? Wow, well, very difficult to say, but uh, yeah, as I said, we uh, we expect uh, you know to start off high again. We we uh, Jerez, uh, we were pole position and second place last year, and uh, that was of course I still get goosebumps uh, when I see uh, those two laps from the boys. But uh, yeah, let's be also realistic uh, and and uh, you know try to 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 do the best and uh, not uh, you know to to go too crazy. But uh, yeah, we can expect uh, good results from the boys. OK, thank you, Wilco. Those are the contestants, and you can learn more about all of them on our website, sepangracingteam.com. But now it's time for the fan question section. So fan questions where our favourite question wins a pair of Monitor Moniflex team trainers. Razlan, questions for you first, and apologies in, in advance if any names are mispronounced. No difficulties with the uh, first name, though. At Too Tall Tell on Twitter asks, what was your first introduction to bikes, motorbikes? Oh, <laughs> believe it or not, it's Harley Davidson. Um, yeah. <laughs> You know, for, for a guy now who's really into super bikes, but my first exposure to bikes was a Harley, old man's bike, or legendary old man's bike. A, a legendary old man, no comment. Um, yeah. Next question <laughs> is from B Gomba at on Instagram. What is your favorite circuit other than Sepang? Other than Sepang. Okay, that's an easy one. Still, it's the Red Bull Ring. Uh, I just love the, um, the Red Bull Ring. Uh, I was there for the first time last year, and it was it's beautiful. It's really nice. Uh, everything, the track, the surroundings, it's gorgeous. Loved it. Two visits this year. Um, final question for Razlan from Dan H F I Q on Instagram. What's the hardest thing about being in charge of a MotoGP team? The hardest thing. The hardest thing, I think. I think to be honest, uh, uh, last year was uh, the first year with uh, MotoGP and the rest. I think managing the riders are the most difficult. <laughs> yeah, I think. Okay. I think the riders are difficult. Yeah. Okay. Three. Uh, three answers there. Thank you, Razlan. Johan, you're up next. From at L Nira O three twelve on Instagram. What's the best way to start a motorsport career? I'm 16 and love motorsport and want to be in it. Well, I mean, first of all, I think you need to check with your local, I mean, your national federation and the natural races, you know, how they, how they progress with the talent search and, uh, and starting like we do in Malaysia with these mini GP series is fantastic, you know, and uh, like Sepang Surrogate is helping uh, the young and the youth to come through. And then, you know, there will always be talents and you can always find somebody. And once you start, you will you will experience if you have some kind of talent for this sport or not, you know. So it, it, it's, uh, it's good to start early. But uh, for some riders, uh, early is not always the key, you know. So there will be riders coming for motocross or for something else. And then they start a bit late and they can also come through very, very fast. Thank you, Johan. Now, next question for you on Instagram from Andrea Granados23. Uh, what did you think of the MotoGP docu-series about the team? 
Well, I mean, that's something new for our from our uh, sport. You know, uh, I think it's fantastic to see. You know, of, of course, obviously, I was there last year, and and we noticed the cameras, which was a bit annoying at at some times. But uh, when you see the final results, uh, it's it's very nice and rewarding to see the the hard work we put in. You know, from from the team, and how we built this team in such a short time. Uh, for me, it's like uh, yeah, you get goosebumps watching it. You know, it's it's very very rewarding and and great to show the world that uh, what we are accomplished. Thank you, Stiggy. Uh, next uh, questions for Wilco. First question on Instagram from. Oh, Sekhi Puspa. Uh, uh, and the question is, uh, what, what can the team do to bring new talent to the teams? New talent. Yeah, the main thing is keep your eyes open. You know, uh, there is always somebody with uh, special skills. And uh, it's, it's, yeah, too, too, too diplomatic to say, ah, you just take the fastest guy on the list. And uh, as uh, Raslan also sometimes mentioned in his interview, yeah, this is some, yeah, you need, you need to see the whole picture, basically. You know, some guys, they don't have the best bike, but they are performing very well. And also when there is a lot of pressure from these young boys in some, um, uh, yeah, I would say some races, some uh, some practices, and but especially the races. If they they, for example, with Fabio, uh, yeah, it was unbelievable what he did in my eyes in Motegi when he win that race. Uh, basically, he get that he get finally disqualified, but uh, I, in my eyes he win that race. But uh, Bagnaya was uh, on his ass basically for uh, 45 minutes, and he did not make a mistake. And then you know these guys have something in him that uh, can perform well in MotoGP as well. Thank you for that. Now, final question uh, for Wilco, again from Instagram, from at Leonel underscore 007. Who was your favorite MotoGP racer? Who was your favorite? Kevin Swans. Good answer. Okay, yeah. we're going to award uh, this pair of trainers and we're going to give it to uh, the question about how do you get into motorsport? So how you get in motorsport, you've got to wear the team trainers. So uh, prize coming your way. Uh, fan questions are over, which means we now go into round one. So oh, this is the seven second challenge brought to you by Sepang International Circuit. Here each contestant is given seven seconds to give as many answers as possible on a topic of our choice. Razlan, you're first. Can you name winners of the Malaysian MotoGP? Go. Valentino Rossi, Valentino Rossi Dovizioso, uh, Marquez, Vinales. Okay, time out. Time over. We've got, we'll give you four. Okay, not a, not a bad score there. Uh, Johan, you're next. Uh, and and uh, Johan and Wilco, this, we're going to test your memory here. This is going to be a bit interesting. <laughs> Johan, can you name competitor riders to you in the 2006 Supersport World Championship? Who are your rivals? Go. Sebastian Chopentier, um, uh, <laughs> Massimo Roccoli, uh, Fabrizio. Uh, time out, time out. That seven seconds goes quick. There's, there's two points there for you, Stiggy. Okay. Uh, bonus point, though, we'll give because we know that was hard. Um, where did you finish in the championship and uh, with how many points? Oops, I finished eight and points. I don't remember. I <laughs> know I did. <laughs> Okay, you get a bonus point for eight. You, you scored 70 points uh, that year. Yeah. Wilco, can you name in seven seconds your competitor riders in the 1991 250cc World Championship? Go. Hel Helmut Drado, Luca Carlora, Kozinski, um, Reinhold Roth, uh, Jacques Connu, Dominique oh. Carlo. Okay, that was very good. Wilco comes, yeah, and we're even going to give you uh, bonus points as well if you can tell us where you finished in the standings and with how many points. Fourth? I have no idea how many points because we, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was 158 points, so uh, very well done. 
And if we look at it, uh, it's an early lead for Wilco, seven points. Raslan has four points and uh, Stiggy at the back at the moment on three points. Uh, that round is over, so that's the end of round one. We jump now into round two. This round is brought to you by Protonus Premax, the official fuel of Moto2 and Moto3, as well as Mercedes-AMG Protronus Formula 1 team, who are in action again this weekend, um, remember, in Austria. This round is called, What Was Your Name Again? Here we want to know uh, how well our contestants know each other with a bit of a twist. Each correct answer gets 10 points, so there's good points to be scored here. Johan, we go to you first. We have uh, some questions related to Raslan and Wilco. First question uh, is about Wilco. With which bike did Wilco debut in the World Championship in 1986 at the British GP? Uh, and it was the category was 80cc. Was it a, uh, a, and Wilco can tell us if we get the pronunciation wrong, a, a Kessel? Was it a Derby or was it a uh, Krauser? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should know this, Stiggy. I think number three, Krauser. <laughs> yeah. Wilco? No, no. Ufo Kassel. Number oh, yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> I never heard about those names. <laughs> <laughs> 1986, to be fair, is quite a yeah. time ago. Yeah. Um, question about Raslan for you now, Stiggy. Um, for how many years was Raslan CEO of Sepang International Circuit? 11 years. <laughs> Hang. 10 points. Correct answer. Good. Okay, Raslan, we have next. Uh, we've got two questions related to both Stiggy and Wilco. Um, oh question first about, <laughs> about <laughs> Johan. Which of the following riders have not worked with him in the World Championship? Louis Salom, Darren Binder, or Johan Zarco? Which one hasn't worked with no, Stiggy? Darren, Darren Binder. Correct answer. He has worked with his brother Brad, though, so we'll be doing that. So good score for there. Now, a question about Wilco. How many years ago did Wilco win the 250cc race at Nürburgring? Uh, Pre-dinosaur era. So we'll, we'll give you the option. Was it 10 years ago, <laughs> 25 years ago, or 30 years ago? Okay, 30 would be too long. I think 25. You were wrong. It was 30 years ago, 1990, yeah. that race win. Yeah, you're old, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we go to Wilco next. Uh, two questions related to uh, Stiggy and Raslan. Question about Stiggy. Tell us five manufacturers' bikes that Stiggy worked with in the World Championship. Five manufacturers. Honda, Aprilia, Yamaha... Uh, did you do five? Was work riding with, with them or riding with or work with? Working with. Working. So, uh, working with. Ah, uh, Kalex, uh, Kalex then, and uh, uh, now Triumph. Oh, yeah, good good one on the Triumph. Um, we've also got here Caterham Suta, Kalex KTM, um, Aprilo, the, Stiggy, was that one you've been with? No. Not, nope. not so, um, we, yeah. it's 10 points total. So let's give you, uh, well, our quiz master back at base is going to work out exactly the points on that. Um, <laughs> as we ask you, Wilco, your question about Raslan. How many times uh, did SIC, under the leadership of Raslan, achieve the trophy of MotoGP Best Grand Prix? Was it one time in 2016? Twice, 2012 and 2016, or twice, 2012 and 2017? Ooh, I think the second one. So twice, twice yeah, 2012 twice. and 2016. Raslan? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, the, the, the quiz master, the adjudicator back at base will, uh, will determine that as we just look at the scores. Um, from Is it correct, Andy, or not? And uh, 
No, I, I'm I'm waiting to uh, for the scores to pop up or the answer to pop up, but it's not. So uh, we I think have seventeen. Slightly... Um, so <laughs> we have looking at the points. Um, yeah, it's 2012 and 2017 is the correct answer. 2017, so you didn't get that one. Um, but if we look at the points now, uh, in third place, it's still Stiggy now on 13 points, just behind Razlan, who is on 14 points, and Wilco still in the lead, but very slim margin there. You have 15 points. So uh, that was the end of round two, which means we now go into round three. Round three is brought to you by Barracuda and it's called Rules and Regulations. Here we're going to ask uh, and find out who knows the rules and regulations of MotoGP the best. We've had a good read through the, uh, the documentation and we're just going to throw questions to the floor. So first person to answer with the correct answer uh, gets 10 points. So there's a lot of points up for scores here. Now, first question. How many pages long is the document for the FIM World Championship Grand Prix regulations in 22? And that's the update of the 7th of June this year. So including sporting, technical, circuit standards, environmental code, code of ethics. How many, how many pages? And if you don't know, we'll, we'll, oh, I think, I think Johan's, Johan, Johan might know. No, Wilco is Googling. I'll check it. <laughs> 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 so answers now. Come on, Wilco, how many? 300, 365. Johan? 365. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's 420. Raslan? I hired these two guys to understand all these things. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's actually, but we, I, I don't know if there'll be a steward's inquiry there, but it's 374 pages is the actual number of pages on there. Um, so Wilco is closest there. That's, uh, yeah, 374. Um, question two. In the case of a tie across the finish line, which rider will be ranked first? How do you decide who wins if the, they finish at exactly the same time? The finish line the picture will be... Uh will be crucial you mean if it's exactly the same time exactly the same time you can't discern they cross precisely the same time they go back one lap no Fast, fastest no. lap in the race fastest lap in the race <laughs> whoever said, whoever said hey. the fastest lap. that's you uh wait, you, you, you don't wait for me to answer 4.4 i was gonna did say that, that. did it ever <laughs> happen andy? <laughs> andy my question to you did it ever happen no, but that doesn't no. mean that you need, in case it does happen, you've got the answer. You no, know no. whether to celebrate or not. Yeah, uh, nice. Question three. <laughs> uh, once the chequered flag is shown at the end of the race, what happens in the pit lane? <laughs> what do you... They show the red flag. They show the red light. Correct answer. That's uh, regulation red 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 two four point one. And they show the red light at the end of the uh, of the line. Uh, pit lane is closed. Question number four. Uh, in order to be counted as a finisher in a race, a rider must complete what percentage of the race distance? 75%. 75%, yeah. Three quarters of the race. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Wilco was first, but everyone gets a, a little smattering of points for that. Um, now, this one's a good one. Let's see if Razlan maybe knows this. Question five. Marshall's uniforms can be white or orange, but what Pantone color orange? Pantone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to get that. So it's actually uh, 151C. Um, question number six. <laughs> Take note. What's the maximum age for a contracted MotoGP rider? Maximum age? There yep. Oh, there is no maximum age. age. There isn't. There is. No. For a contracted. Contracted MotoGP rider age maximum. Yep. One point, uh, regulation 1.10. Oh, I think. Two. two of you can ride, uh, one can't. It's 50 years old. 50 yeah. years old. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> really. Um, we've read the regulations this morning, all 374 pages. Uh, question number seven. What's the deadline to get your participation agreement lodged with ERTA for the season ahead? 
Three months before. Uh, what date? There's an actual date specified. August, August, uh, no. August. February 28th. Regulation agreement with, for the February 28th. Yeah, with Erta. That's uh, regulation uh, 1.11.3. Um, oh. Okay, uh, next question, eh? Wildcard entries are suspended for this year due to the um, slight pandemic we've had going on. But what would have been the entry fee for a Motor 2 wildcard this year? 15,000 euro. Oh, no, no, very no. close. No, that, no, very close. What, very did, what did he say? What did uh, Wilco say? 15,000. Uh, I see what Johan's trying to do here. Let's, let's give him 16. You went the wrong way, Stiggy. It was actually 14. 13. Uh, so, Raz, I don't know if we'll let Razlan get that. We'll, we'll think about it. He's currently lost in the point, so let's give Razlan the, the point for that. It's actually €13,372, according to uh, Regulation 1.11.5. Uh, two more regulation questions. Let's see who can get these. Um, another one that maybe favours favors Razlan with his circuit hat on, but question nine. According to Regulation 1.17.3, if the timekeeping rooms are fed by a normal power electricity supply, they must also be connected to a UPS and to what? Generator. To what? Big, big we'll generator. Get it. We'll generator. Get it. Yep, yeah. a generator. I remember that, Andy, because in, in South Africa, they did it on a battery, 12 volts, and then the, the lights went on and off very, very slow, so that was not good. <laughs> Not good. I, I've been at circuit that where the power station's been hit by lightning and we lost everything and people started yeah, lap charting many years ago. Um, final rules and regulation question, and I'll be amazed if anyone gets this. Um, for the white flag with the diagonal red cross, what's the permitted stroke width of the cross? How wide can the cross be? Oh, Damn. Oh my God. Come on. 12, cent 12 centimetre or 30. 30 yeah. centimeters or more. Johan gets the point because it's actually between 10 and 13 centimeters. So straight <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Stiggy yeah. gets that. That's very good indeed. Okay. Um, that was a big round. And the points show that the uh, standings at the moment, Raslan is in third position on 24 points. Stiggy second on 33. Wilco is our pub quiz master tactician, I think. So he's currently on 58 points. Uh, that was round three. Now we go into the final round, which will be round four. Round four is brought to you by Fly Me Too, and it's entitled Go Get. This is where we ask contestants to go get something from their homes. And uh, if you don't have the re item requested, you can do something something similar. Uh, we've, we've kind of themed this as a bit of assistance for the team. because <laughs> We're all thinking about getting packed and, and ready to go. So uh, item number one, who can be the first person, if any of you, to get your passport because you're going to need it soon and you possibly Ooh. don't know where it is. Ta -da! Passport. Okay, so I think Razlan got his passport, um, <laughs> but but his screen has frozen at least for me. So that that's an interesting one. Stiggy yeah, got yeah. his passport second, and uh, Wilco he's got his ticket. Um, yeah, well done. Uh, Wilco has also got his passport. Congratulations. Uh, well done on that. So uh, interesting there. Everyone has their passport. I only asked this because myself, I had, until two days ago, I had no idea where I'd put it five <laughs> months ago. So it's a, it's a useful thing to have. Um, so item number two, and you can be creative with this as well, something you absolutely must pack for Hareth. So one of your essential things to go to the track. Bang, oh. phone, phone. <laughs> Definitely. The phone is always needed wherever you go. And the team shirt. And hey. we all have our team shirts. Um, got this? We have a, a slight technicality for me, at least. I, I can't see, uh, I can see a frozen Razlan at the moment. Not my most flattering side profile, um, but I'm we were- showing will... my bike. He's showing, <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
Brilliant. Um, the bike is very important. Um, you have many. Um, right. And finally, we're going to ask you for something that you haven't shown us already, but something you're going to take on the flight with you, something to, you know, relax or, you know, read or eat or can't be the phone. We, we've seen the phone. So what else? What else? And power yeah. and uh, it's glasses. Yes. Both, both headphones. Bose headphones. Battery, no, battery no, charger no. for the phone. Battery, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all good. Okay. Um, we're putting uh, all the points together. That was the final uh, round of breakout. And if we look at the scores, in final position, so totally blowing out the water, the concept that the, uh, the man at the top of the organisational chart would win, Razlan, 50 points. It's a podium, third place. Well done, Razlan. Thank you. In second <laughs> place. In se yes, thank you. Your P45 is in the post. Uh, in <laughs> second place, we have uh, Johan on 59 points. Well done, Stiggy. Second place, P2. Which means in first position, and, and particularly for good knowledge on both uh, race history, uh, and a lot of race history, uh, and also the regulations there. Well done. Congratulations, Wilco. We're going to give you a uh, bottle of Patron yeah. Winter, so you can use for one of your bikes at home. And uh, we'll also give you a year's pass to Sepang International Circuit. It's now open for track days and such like. So if you want to uh, get out there and get your knee down, if there is any time ahead, uh, free. Thank you very much indeed, everybody who has joined us. We hope you enjoy both lockdown and breakout. Remember, all these quizzes are available for replay on our Facebook page. Uh, don't forget, this weekend we see Formula One in action in Austria once more with uh, Lewis and Valtteri racing for Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. The following weekend, of course, we're going to be in Jerez. That is it. Uh, for breakout thank you to all our sponsors and ongoing gratitude to all frontline workers everywhere please stay safe keep washing those hands and follow all the best practice advice in your country this time next week we'll see you at the track goodbye bye bye